Jia's speech. Imagine a world without pronouns. How would sentences sound? Jia is preparing a speech for the upcoming Teachers Day celebrations. Jia's parents are watching Jia as Jia recites the speech. Jia's parents love the speech. Jia's parents clap for Jia. Jia feels happy and confident. Sounds odd, doesn't it? And so terribly long and repetitive. Thankfully, we do have pronouns. We have personal pronouns which we use when we don't want to repeat nouns. There are many personal pronouns. We can categorize them depending on whom we are talking about. What the gender of the person or thing is. Whether the pronouns are subjects or objects in the sentence. Quite a lot of categories. So, let's go step by step. Now, depending on whether we are talking about someone or to someone, we have what are called first person, second person and Third person pronouns. First person pronouns are I, me, my, we, us, and our. We use these pronouns to talk about ourselves. I take my dog. Bingo to the park every evening. My dog Bingo loves me very much. Here, Basha is talking about himself. So, he uses the pronouns I, my and me. Can you tell who Pasha is talking about now? We go to school together every morning. Our school has a nice canteen that serves delicious food. Aisha eats lunch with us every day. Pasha is talking about himself and Jia. So, he uses the pronouns we, our and us here. We must always use these pronouns to talk about ourselves with someone else. The pronouns I, me and my are used for one person, animal or thing. They are singular. While the pronouns we, our and us are used for more than one person, animal or thing. They are plural. Now, let's learn about the second person pronouns. You and your. Your teachers will love the speech that you have prepared for Teacher's Day. All your classmates will cheer for you too. Here, Jia's mother is talking to Jia. That's why she uses the pronouns you and your. We must always use these pronouns while talking to someone else. Remember, you and your can be used while talking to one person or 
more than one person. They can be used as both singular and plural pronouns. For example, in the first sentence, your stands for Aisha, which is singular. But in the second sentence, your stands for kids, which is plural. Now, let's look at the third person pronouns, he, him, his, she, her, it, its, they, them and their. We use these pronouns to talk about someone or something else. Here are some examples. He built his robot at a very young age. Teacher praised him for his science project. These sentences are about Jiggy. So the pronouns he, him and his are used to talk about him. Remember, he, him and his are used for one boy or man. Similarly, the pronouns she and her are used to talk about Jia here. She gives her pet a bath every weekend. Aisha met her when she was just a baby. She and her are used for one girl or woman. The pronouns it and its are used to talk about a thing or an animal. I cannot find it. Its cap is missing. It belongs to the reptile family. Its skin changes color. Here, notice how it and its have been used to talk about the pen and the chameleon here. This brings us to our final set of pronouns for today. They, them and their. These pronouns are used to talk about more than one person, animal or thing. They are very mischievous. Their teacher always punishes them. They are gentle giants. Their trunks allow them to eat food. They are in the fridge. Please eat them before their flavor is lost. Notice how they, them and their are used to talk about the students here. The elephants here and the pies here. Now, look at these sentences again. The pronouns I, we, he, she and they are subject pronouns. A subject performs the action in a sentence. Such pronouns appear before the verbs in sentences. Read these sentences now. The pronouns me, us, him, her and them are object pronouns. An object receives the action in a sentence. Such pronouns appear after the verbs in sentences. But the pronouns you and it are different. They can appear both before and after verbs. So, 
they serve as both subject and object pronouns some pronouns show belonging like my our your his her its and their they are called possessives like nouns pronouns have genders too he him and his are used to talk about the male gender they are the masculine pronouns similarly she and her stand for the female gender they are the feminine pronouns i me my we us and our can be used for both male and female gender they are common pronouns We use the pronouns it and its to talk about things with no gender. They are neuter pronouns. They can also be used for animals when the gender of the animal is unknown. They, them and their are used to talk about the male and female genders, animals as well as genderless things so they can be used as both common and neuter pronouns so now you know how and when personal pronouns are used now try using them in sentences of your own